The first step when planning your garden is to spend a few minutes outside measuring it or deciding how large you want it to be. This will be time well spent because once the layout of your garden is accurately drawn in the garden planner, it can be used year after year. Once you have the size, you can start using the garden planner to draw it out. If you have a large growing area, you may wish to divide it into more than one plan so that you don't have to scroll around the screen so much. There are two kinds of shapes you can add to your plan, open shapes and solid shapes. Open shapes are ideal for drawing garden beds and structures. For example, to add a raised bed, you click to pick up the rectangle tool, move to where you want to draw it, and then hold down the mouse to drag out the bed. Once placed on the plan, shapes can be resized using the corner handles, rotated using the round handles, and moved by dragging them. Solid shapes are all one color and can easily be added in the same way. Like this pond. Like open shapes, they can be moved and resized easily. There is also a background fill tool, but this works differently to solid shapes. For example, if you created the pond using an open circle and then filled it using the fill tool, it works. But then if you want to adjust the size or position of the pond, the fill is part of the background, not the shape, so it doesn't move with it. For this reason, the background fill tool should just be used for setting a surrounding color when your plan is almost complete or for non-standard shapes. You may also wish to avoid large color areas if you don't want to use a lot of ink when printing. You can select shapes by clicking them, and holding down the shift key allows you to select more than one shape so they can be moved as a group. All shapes, text, and plants can be copied and pasted to new locations, so it is easy to duplicate vegetable beds. Selected shapes can be deleted using this delete button or the delete key. And don't forget to save your plan when it's done. More complex shapes can be created out of lines like this one. and dragging the middle handle creates curves. If you want the lines to meet exactly, you may wish to select the Snap to Grid option, which you can find by clicking the Settings button. There are also options to clear the background or to delete a whole plan. Text can be added by first setting the size and color. Then picking up the text tool, dragging out a text box, and clicking inside to type. Once finished, just click outside the text box. Don't forget that in subsequent years, the software can simply copy the whole garden layout to a new plan, removing the plans. So with a full set of drawing tools, the Garden Planner makes it easy to create your perfect garden layout and reuse it year after year.